Hello everyone, welcome back. Meta has just released Llama 2, an open source large language model, free for both research and commercial use. And it's just not an upgrade, but significant leap forward in the field of AI. In today's video, I'm going to show you four ways you can access Llama 2 right now. So first, let's have a look at the basic information. More information can be found at Meta AI website. And the first thing you'll find it, it is open source and free for research and commercial use. Then you have download the model button. You can download the model by just requesting and filling this form. I submitted the form and I got the access within two hours. So you can do that too. Let's have a look at uh, other information. So we have now model ranging from 7 billion to 70 billion. Earlier it was just 65 billion. Llama 2 was actually trained on 40% more data compared to Llama 1. And there are a few more details like we have 7 billion model, 13 billion model, 70 billion model. And now it has been trained on 2 trillion tokens. And now the context length is double. Earlier it was 2048, now it is 4096. Next we have benchmark result, which shows that Llama 2 is able to outperform all the other open source model uh, in various fields, uh, which you can have a look here. Uh, so that's all from the basic information. Let's have a look how we can access it. The first way is using this Llama2.ai. This is an amazing interface. It has all the models available. You have 7 billion, 13 billion, and 70 billion. Let's go ahead and ask the question. The first question is about a concept of recursion. So let's see uh, what kind of results we are going to get. Let's have a look at the response. So it has given a clear uh, definition about recursion and a simple program and how this program is working and explanation on top of that. So this works really great. Let's go ahead and ask another question. So this time it is more of a generic question. Uh, can you explain the process of photosynthesis and how it contributes in Earth's ec ecosystem? So let's see. Let's have a look at the response here. Uh, so it has given a uh, great details about everything, you know, how this photosynthesis works and uh, how it contributes to ecosystem of the earth. So th this is really great. There is another replit interface which can be used to access Llama 2 model, which uses 7 billion uh, model. So let's see uh, how we can use this. So let's go ahead and provide our pro programming question here. So write a program in Python to detect a special character in a string. And this is created by this Twitter user. Uh, please go ahead and follow him. It does an amazing job on tech. So we have the response here. Uh, it has created a Python program, which looks correct. So let's go ahead and ask another question. So the next question is about writing a sick leave application. So we have the response here. Dear this, I'm writing to inform you that I'll be taking a sick leave today and tomorrow due to cold that I have contacted. Looks great, right? Sort concise uh, email, great. The third website which we can use is uh, Perplexity Labs. Uh, it is really fast uh, compared to all other website. So let's go ahead and try to use this. So my question was, what are the main function and benefits of using cloud computing? So you can see how fast it was. Uh, it is just like chat GPT. As soon as you give question, it is able to provide the response. So let's have a look at the response. So we have scalability, cost saving, reliability, collaboration, flexibility and mobility, advanced security, sustainability, and so many more. So we have the details on each point as well. So this is really great. So this time I'm going to use a mathematical question to see if it is able to resolve or not. Uh, we have seen that, you know, other models are not able to resolve it. And the answer here is 272, uh, which is wrong. It should be 24, uh, but that's okay. You know, uh, even though, you know, ChatGPT 3 was uh, throwing wrong answers for maths for a really long time. Uh, last and fourth one is using hugging face interface. So since it uses 70 billion model, I wanted to ask some difficult question from chat GPT-4 model. So you would have seen this in GPT-4 model demo. So let's go ahead and ask this. Uh, so if it is able to reason this and find a perfect slot for the meeting or not, correct answer is from 12 to 12.30. Let's see. So we have the result here. Uh, it says that, you know, time is from 12.30 to 1, uh, which is actually wrong. Uh, the actual timing is from 12 to 12.30. And the reason for not from 12.30 to 1 is because HANA is actually available till 12.30 in the first half. Okay. So let's go ahead and ask another question. I wanted to see if it is able to create this kind of sequence or not. So we'll go ahead and provide this prompt and wait for the answer. Uh, these can be slow because lots of people are using it. So have some patience. Uh, it may take some time to get the response. So let's have a look at the response here. Uh, it didn't give the correct response. It does uh, repeated E here. Then it forgot to use Q and it has used M twice over here as well. 
so all i can say is it's pretty uh, good to see that you know we have open source which can be utilized and run locally as well if you have a decent uh, hardware in your system that's all for the day guys if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thank you